What's up Knights, Xantos here. It's been a hot minute since we've made a video, but here we are yet again. Today we're going to be taking a peek at the Demon Gate event and these enemies here that have the ability to transcend. Now you're definitely going to want to have these enemies to transcend. The bigger guys are fairly easy to get there, but these flying ones in the back row take a hot minute to transform. Now because of that, we're going to be bringing along a level 11 weapon with us and mainly just focusing punching with our gauntlet and utilizing hero powers for damage. Now the reason we bring a level 11 weapon with us is so that we can bide time if ever we get, make it to the back row without one of those flying enemies transforming in time. They're extremely weak in their first form, but in their secondary form they're pretty tanky and you can actually bank a lot more points from them in the event if you allow them to transcend. Now these enemies in the front row transcend after only two physical hits, and if you make contact with them after they have transcended, they actually get regenerated as well. So what we're going to be focusing on is utilizing Ursula's base power that does a huge amount of damage and also exposes them for three turns. Now the reason we're utilizing Ursula's base power is because it doesn't hit the enemies in the back row. It allows them to transform. Now here the enemy is subjected to pull so its power doesn't activate, but we're able to focus on the vampire on the right. With four punches we take out the vampire on the right. The flying harpy finally transcends. And another thing that we have been doing here is utilizing Ursula's rage power to heal up any damage that we've taken in a round. You can see here, we heal up for a nice 23k, deal a good chunk of damage, and we have Hearn's base power that can quickly take out the Harpy as well. Into round two, we've already banked the most amount of points that we could from that first round there. Again, we're gonna be focusing on making the enemies transcend before we kill them. So two punches on the vampire on the left, and then two hits on the enemy on the right so that it transcends. Now we focus Ursula's Expose. Punches and bunches and hero powers in this situation are what's going to be very successful for you. Two more punches and another Expose. Quickly takes up this Oni. And we've made it to the back row. You can see one punch there does a huge amount of damage to that enemy. But once it's transcended, that's when we're in a good position. And we can actually take them out. They can take a little bit more damage. But we bank 270 points from each of their kills. Let's see, we heal right back up. Full health. Comfortable situation. And two punches takes out the... Flying Harpy on the right. Banking those points. Three more punches, Hearn's base power, wraps up round two. Again, we banked the most amount of points that we could there in that round. Now we have two Onis in the front row. So we're gonna, one, two, three, Four. The reason we're using the level 11 weapon there is because that damage doesn't even matter. Once they transcend, this is when we're going to have to focus. Expose the field. Hearn's base power. Getting some damage on the enemy in the back row. Now we're using Hearn's Dark Portal Rage here because it can very quickly take out all of those enemies in the front row. If your health is in a comfortable position and you want to be a little bit more offensive, Hearn's Rage Power is definitely the way to go with those big guys. They can, uh, they get taken out very quickly with that. Into the fourth round now. As you can see, we have a full stacked up room of them. We actually punch the first Oni uh, three times and then bounce to the one on the right so that only one of them transcends here because we know we have to make the other two transcend as well. We can just take a little bit less damage there. Again, using the level 11 weapon, the damage doesn't matter. 
Bouncing over to this one. Making sure they're all transcending. Now that they're all in their transformed state, we start hitting them with Ursula. Exposing the field. And three punches on this enemy in the center. Now the harpy in the back row is almost ready to go. Two more punches. We take out the oni in the center. One more punch on the left. Now all of the monsters will have transcended. We can really let loose with our rage powers again. And heal up all of that damage that we have taken. You can see we heal a nice 40k there. Earns base power. One punch takes out this Oni in the front. And then we only have this Harpy to deal with in the back. And we got some actions to charge up our powers as well. We get that full rage yet again. So why not heal up? Be in a comfortable position for the final round. Boom, big 50k right back to the health. Going into the final fifth round here of the 45 portal with pretty much full health. Actually full health, yes. Completely full health. Exposing this front row. Want to try and take out that uh, vampire in the back row as quickly as possible before it gets its power off and buffs up the, uh, the boss. You can see uh, the the hero or uh, the power that the boss uses there. It's only supposed to deal 50% damage back to him, but it's actually doing 100% damage back to him. I think that's a little bug right now. You can see we're just biding time here, waiting for that harpy on the right to transform. Once the harpy on the right transcends, we expose. Start really going off with our hero powers and it can quickly wrap up the room with no problems. And that right there is how you bank a ton of points in this event by allowing all of the enemies to transcend first. Uh, keep in mind my current setup is using a 215% boost to mage power. Uh, max out Maverick Gauntlet. So just keep that in mind. If you enjoy content like this, um, we're actually streaming every single Saturday. So uh, if you want to tune in and see awesome live moments like this, then uh, definitely subscribe to the channel and tune in. We'd love to have you join us weekly. It's a really fun, good time. So this is my biggest portal run that I've had yet. I hope you guys enjoy. Yo, let's see how many points we can bank off this. Okay, hang on. I want to be I want to be a hundred percent safe here. Uh, I'm actually gonna bring a big recovery potion because this portal is looking scary. Should be good with this. We'll be able to bank the most amount of points with this method. Let's get it. One, two, three, Fawa. Transcend. Boom, boom. One. Boom. Boom, boom. Hurry up, back row guys, man. <laughs> I actually get like angsty. I, want, I just want to get it done. Freaking just finish it. Oh my god, these ads are so annoying. Can you guys even hear the lo-fi in the background? I'm trying to bring like a bit of a like chill vibe. 
Uh, I'm just gonna punch so that I can expose the back row and get a big heal off them, hopefully. Boom, transcend. Oh, he's still not transcended. Are you kidding me? Screw it, I'm just doing it. Boom. 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 Next turn, we should be able to get that nice big heal that we want. Nice, they're both transcended. So we go one, two. There's the expose. And then here comes the big heal. Oh, very nice heal. Uh, Samuel says, he's been lucky to snag the new Rift minions, the cult alchemist. It completely changes the strategy. Yeah, man, he's, uh, he's really different. <laughs> he's broken right now, though. Just know that they're going to be, like, changing him. He's not supposed to be hitting health directly. I have no idea how that made it past, like, the testers, but it did somehow. And uh, he's supposed to just hit armor. But have fun with him while he's broken. Because he's freaking <laughs> absolutely awesome right now. Transcend! Transcend! I actually think we might be able to bank over 4,000 points on this run. I'm serious. This might be an over 4,000 point run. Fingers crossed! I think we can get it. They're beating me up. Stop beating me up! Boom. That's the first one taken out. Excellent. We don't subject him to pull. He transcends. Hit him with a weaken. Get that Ursula Rage. Nice heal. Keep us comfy. And two punches should actually wrap that up. Yeah, excellent. Very, very nice. Very, very fine. Alright, we got... This is a juicy one. Nice. This is a double big boss, too. Fuck yeah. That's awesome. Alright, we're gonna make these fools transcend in the front. A few more punches. Make that fellow transcend as well. And then the power is going to start popping off. They're all ready and set to go. We'll expose. We're actually going to use a uh, Hearn in this situation because I know that these front guys are tanky. I want to kill them quickly. And that's what we wanted right there. Boom. Boom. Get that rage power back up. Maybe we can get a big heal off the boss before we leave this room too. Dope, we got it. That's awesome. Boom, big heal. How many actions do we have left? Yeah, it'll kill him. Oh, it didn't kill him. Poison will get him. Alright, we got one bird in the back. One bird in the back. So we'll go one, two, kill the chain, bounce over to one of the undeads, and start working away on that. Got full rage in the back pocket again. Transcend! This will allow us to pop off with Ursula, get those expose, and then finish up that undead enemy and you know what i'm actually gonna launch on this one too because i don't want that guy getting his regenerate yet go one two should take out those ah uh, we subject him to pull back row guy gets pulled so we won't do his action it's all right though we swing away 
with our basic level 11 hammer. This is why we bring a level 11 hammer to the event portal. Expose. Big heal. Boom, what did we get? 50k heal. Ah. Made it into the final room. Punch, 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 punch. He'll transcend. Give the birdies time to move. Boom, boom. Hit that expose. Yeah, we had a juicy one there. Mm, 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 mm. Come on, birdie boys. We need you to transcend into your final form. Boom, boom. Transcending. Transcend! Transcend! Uh, what do we want to do here? I'm gonna... Try and heal up a bit. I've taken quite a bit of damage. 34. Even that's comfy. And you know what? Let's finish him off. Punches in bunches, baby. Boom, expose. We'll use a Hearn base power after that as well. Should wrap up the main enemy. Punchy. Man, they just keep regenerating. It's okay, though. We got that. No problemo. Boom. 47. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Did we score over 4,000? Oh, yeah, baby. We had a 4,635 point run. Let's go. Yeah, I'm taking a little screenshot of that. <laughs>